This is Jill Rahman from Bangladesh, student in IIUM, International Islamic University, Malaysia. This uh, Muslim university, then a uh, lot of scholars come here and for higher study. Here accommodations and food, communications, everything is awesome. I like it very much. And uh, IIUM, food quality is very good. And uh, here Nasi Lama and uh, Nasi Bute. Nasi goreng, I like it very much. Here, uh, local some students and uh, uh, teachers, they make this awesome food. Sometimes they cooperate us their uh, local food, their serendang, we love it. Thank you very much. Yoshitakarusaki and I'm a student at Monash University, Malaysia. First of all, when you travel to Malaysia, you will need to go to a Malaysia embassy in Tokyo to obtain a single entry visa. And remember to download the My Signature apps to your smartphone before your flight. On the day of my departure to Malaysia, the check-in process takes longer than usual, so make sure you arrive at the airport earlier than usual. On arrival in Malaysia, it takes approximately 3-4 to four hours to reach your quarantine hotel. The room was very clean and had a good Wi-Fi connection. The food provided is also good. On the day I was released from the quarantine, a driver arranged by the university picked me up from the hotel to my condominiums. Hi, my name is Yu Hongshi from China. Currently, I'm doing my internship in Malaysia and also I've been in Malaysia for almost three years. English is widely spoken in Malaysia, so it's good for international students and also help me improve my English. Malaysia tuition fee is really affordable. After graduation, I can receive dual degree from local university, the other from UK, US or Australia. Here is close to Singapore and Thailand. Fly from Malaysia to other places like one hour or two hours, which is kind of like saving you a lot of time. Living cost is kind of lower compared to other Western countries. Studying Malaysia literally teach me a lot, like how to live independent, how to take care of myself. Hello guys, good day to you all. Welcome again to EMJS Course Talk Series. In the next five minutes, we will be uncovering some of the courses and program details with the guests of the day. So stay tuned with us until the end of the program. Feel free to raise any questions throughout the session. Our team will attend to the question as soon as possible. Before that, please click the like button on our Facebook page and follow our social media to get the latest updates about study in Malaysia. Today, we have a special guest from UCSI University, the Sarawak campus, Assistant Professor Christopher Wan Sagan. He is the Acting Dean for Faculty of Hospitality and Tourism Management at UCSI University, Sarawak campus. Welcome Assistant Professor Christopher. How are you doing today? I'm good, I'm good. How are you, Noazlin? I'm good. 
I'm very good. Thank you so much. Thank you. So, let's get right into the into the details. I yeah, have a sure. few questions for you. So, first, what makes diploma in hospitality management at UCSI so special from others? All right. So, one of the special, or I could say, that uniqueness about our program is that offered in UCSI and UCSI, especially under our faculty, which is Faculty of Hospitality and Tourism Management, is that the faculty are resided. Uh, within the full-fledged uh, 209 rooms hotel located right in the Isthmus Island, Kuching, Sarawak, in which did uh, actually give the students the opportunity to explore and of course to understand more in depth in regards to its hotel operation as a whole. And for this, um, I will touch on as what you mentioned, Diploma in Hotel Management, where it has actually been designed to enhance students' learning through practice concept where students have the opportunity to you know, apply their skills in their actual uh, real life setting. As mentioned earlier on, the faculty are resided within the hotel itself. So within the program structure as well, there are two internship placements out of um, you know, two and a half year of programs to study duration. Um, during the first internship, some students will be exposed to all um, respective department within the hotel or restaurants organization. And this is actually mainly been done to formalize the food and beverage industry uh, at the surface, uh, surface level um, to our students. Uh, then, of course, therefore, they will be able to grasp uh, a deeper understanding of the fundamental of hotel and also restaurant operation. And for the second internship wise, you know, fellow students will be able to specialize in the area that they, they, they will want to venture in upon stepping their foot into the career. Right. So furthermore, in terms of um, our networking, uh, USSR University have broad network connection with industry. So with that, students will have the opportunity to get their confirmed placement um, through all our industry partners. And with this, it actually uh, provides uh, you know, the students the assurance and also students will not need to worry about the internship placement as the faculty will arrange based on students' preference and also expertise. And um, in one another note, um, through intensive, robust teaching and learning structure of this particular diploma programs, um, it have received 100% graduate employability score uh, in the Ministry of Higher Education Graduate Employability 2021 survey. So this actually shows that the demand of the industry towards this particular field is, is very high and therefore the opportunity to progress and also to excel is, is wide, right? So moreover, with the intention to provide the best um, hospitality and also tourism education, uh, the Faculty of Hospitality and Tourism Management UCS University have always strived to be adaptive to the latest trend and provide the most latest skills and also technique required by the industry. And with the determination of the faculty, we are now top 40 in the world um, for the subject focus ranking in the field of hospitality and leisure management in the QS world ranking. So we generally emphasize on expansion learning where we believe that through such learning pedagogy, uh, it will actually enhance learning meaning, uh, meaning making and of course increase the productivity of the learning processes. So therefore, it will transmit into longer memory retention for progressive lifelong learning. And of course, furthermore, uh, students who have completed their diploma in hotel management programs will be able to progress to our bachelor in hospitality management programs, where uh, this particular program is actually a dual awards program. And uh, this means that once students have completed their study uh, for this particular uh, bachelor programs, uh, they will also be receiving a certification awards from HTMI Switzerland, who is our um, partner in university uh, for this dual award certification. So this will definitely increase the value of our graduate without a doubt. Yeah. I see. So that's actually a very great achievement to be in the 40, you know? Yeah. So uh, may, I, may I know like how many international students in this particular program? Like All most right. of them are from which country? All right, we have a wide array of students' nationalities uh, who, are, who have taken up these particular programs, um, namely from Russia, from Pakistan, India, Vietnam, and high percentage from US Indonesia students. Um, as the system between Kalimantan and also Indonesia, you know, and, and Kuching, Sarawak are very nearby to each other. Hence, it is very convenient for our fellow students from Indonesia to further their higher education with us at UCSI University Sarawak campus. 
I see. Okay, that makes sense actually. Yeah. Uh, can you also share with us some success stories of graduate employment from this program specifically, or if there's any like uh, successful alumni who have worked in the industry? All right. So of course. Within our program structure, uh, it has touched on a wide range of knowledge and skills which is essential for the hospitality and also tourism industry. And this covers from food and beverage knowledge and skills to entrepreneurship skills and knowledge. And the program is designed to shape a future leaders of tomorrow for the industry where uh, they will be able to be ever ready to take up leadership position uh, or even start out their own business, right? So one of the successful stories that I could share based on our alumni career progress is that a group of our students from diploma and hotel management, you know, have utilized their class assignment and turn it up into actual business uh, in which four of them have managed to open up their very own uh, fast food chain known as Tums, uh, which resided in one of the prominent malls in Kuching. So through their knowledge, their skills obtained during the studies years, um, they have actually now expanded their business um, through franchising and of course diversifying product offering, um, for example, including like a frozen product as well. And with that, it actually shown the quality of the programs where it provides the essential skills and knowledge um, to respective students to set up and also to be successful individual in their respective um, career pathway. Yeah. Okay, we should try the restaurant one yeah, fine day. It's very yeah. nice. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So my uh, last question for the day is, uh, may I know the overall percentage rate for graduate on time for students who have been in this program? Right. At the current stage, we have obtained 100% rates of graduate on time, uh, known as GOT, uh, for those students who are taking up these programs. Uh, of course, with proper guidance from our dedicated lecturers, head of departments, and all our administrative staff, um, we will actually, you know, um, guide the students and also these students are really well taken care of in terms of their teaching and learning processes. And those um, through, you know, teaching and learning activities are at the maximum at its capacity, which at the end of the day, it will lead to its productive learning processes. Yeah. Okay. All right. So, uh, all right. Thank you, Assistant Professor Christopher, for joining us today and sharing such valuable insights about Diploma in Hotel Management program at UCSI University. So students, for any inquiries, you may drop me an email at azlina at educationmalaysia.gov.my or send us a message on our Facebook page. Before we end the session, let's hear a message from EMGS CEO, Mr. Mohammad Razlan Jalaluddin. And with that, I hope to see you again in the next Cost Talk series. Stay tuned, guys. Bye-bye. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Hi, and welcome to our students. I'm Muhammad Razlan bin Jalaluddin from Education Malaysia Global Services. Thank you for joining EMGS Cost Talk series. Malaysia is definitely the best choice for you to pursue your studies regardless of programs or level of studies. Our quality of education is well recognized globally. The cost of living here is reasonable too. Malaysia is a beautiful country that is strategically located in the heart of Asia. You can experience a dynamic lifestyle with exciting adventures and places to explore. In addition, our cultural diversities make us unique. Moreover, your safety and well-being are our utmost priority as Malaysia is currently ranked 20th in the 2020 Global Peace Index Report. These reasons make Malaysia very unique and should be your preferred destination to further your studies. Rest assured, you will experience an education journey unlike any other. We welcome you with open arms and hope to see you soon in Malaysia. Welcome to Malaysia. Selamat datang ke Malaysia.